Alright, so before I start this video, I actually wanted to uh, share a few things with you. One, Madeline had to um, go to Puerto Rico and hop over to Vieques to help with some family business. So she's in the video, but she unfortunately didn't get to enjoy actually putting the boat back into the water. Um, on the other thing that I was going to let you know is that I mentioned it in the previous video. Um, I made a mistake and I wanted to leave it in there. I didn't want to edit it out because I wanted you guys to see when we make mistakes and be as transparent as possible. So thanks to our friends, I was able to get the boat back into the water and thanks to my due diligence, I was able to uh, fix the mistake before it was a major mistake that was gonna show up later on. So aside from all that, let's get to the video. So let's look, we're doing our checks, make sure nothing's leaking. She's back in the water. Everything's good. Go ahead and open these up. Make sure we don't have any water leaking. Woo! That looks nice and good. This is where we close that through hole. I'll probably throw a little bit of paint over that just for a little bit of protectant. Wait a minute. Something doesn't look right, and I've already opened the seacock. Oh, yeah. I forgot a hose clamp. But, yeah. It's looking great. Looks real good. Oh, you know what I did forget? <clears throat> I forgot a hose clamp. So as you can see, it's hot AF right now. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon. But yeah, she's looking great. So happy to have her back. We already put in some other stuff over here. Obviously, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of cleaning today before Madeline comes back. And I'm also gonna be doing the, uh, the cushions. So I still have all these cushions that Madeline was so gracious to put all together. So yeah, let me get this hose clamp and we are good to go. So at this point I realized that now I just got demoted from level four to now level three. She's looking good here too. Got her bilge down here. A very little bit of water in there. But that's to be expected because the stuffing box has been dry. So it's a cutlass berry. Make sure we don't have any water coming up through the sink. Yeah. We are doing good. Oh, we actually had a really good time working in this marina. Um, it's one of the very few marinas where you can still do some of your own DIY work. And, you know, the rates are really reasonable. And for people like us, you know, we're on a budget and we're trying to get done a lot of stuff in a short amount of time. They were on point with their part when taking care of the painting, taking care of the boats, the haul outs, the haul in, you know, putting it back in the water was timely. And, you know, anybody should bring their boat over here to get it worked on. Who's our cameraman today? Jerry. Jerry. Right. We got John up there. John up here. And we got Captain Patrick <laughs> back here. Check yep. this guy out. He knows what he's doing. Uh, I don't know about that. We're, We're novices here. <laughs> Let's not go crazy. <laughs> bye bye to the shipyard. Now I hope we provisioned enough and had enough fuel on board to get back to our marina because man, was it ever a long trip. Well, you know, I'll kind of fast forward it so you can see because the trip was just that long.
see that second unit right there with the yeah. uh, with the dinghy? Yeah. Our slip is in between it and the one with the blue hole. Get out. You're kidding. What? What? <laughs> it doesn't oh. look big enough for a skip. It doesn't look big enough, but it slips right in there. I'm used to sliding big things into small spaces. <laughs> <laughs> Taking your time. Nice and easy. Yep. I'm in no rush to go anywhere at any time. <laughs> That's why you got a sailboat. That's right. So if you get the boat hook, you can grab both of those lines. You can probably grab them with your hands, but it's kind of scary every time I see anybody reach over the side. And then you just put the loop of the black line on the mid cleat. cameraman thank you very much for recording everything for us we appreciate it i hope it comes out we got our cheerleader over there aka taxi cab driver aka keeping us all out of trouble aka lori so <laughs> so thank you lori this way we don't have to walk and sweat <clears throat> yeah we can just put that back here all right boys and girls we're back. Show some video and pictures of the hole. How everything turned out. She wants to say, they're saying hi to Madeline. So. <laughs> man, I can't even tell you how good it feels to have her back into the slip. And man, did she look good. The new paint job looked amazing. So, well, now that we're done putting her back into her home, let's see what Madeline is doing over in Puerto Rico. So I just arrived in Puerto Rico and I'm going to Vieques and as you can see the terminal is still pretty empty, looks abandoned but apparently I have to walk outside and grab one of these little planes and I'll get to Vieques Island. So welcome to Puerto Rico to me, yay! One of the biggest things that Vieques has to offer is the beautiful landscape and beaches. However, as we were driving by, we saw this enormous ceiba tree. This tree specifically is over 300 years old. All the hurricanes, all the storms, it has always just stayed put. It is massive, and I mean massive. Wow, this is a beautiful tree. This is my baby brother. Say hi. hi. This is awesome. So we went to the health food store over there 
and they have a lot of vegan things so that's good to know if you're ever here um, in this little greenhouse um, does it have a name Leti? Uh, Yerba Buena. Yerba Buena. They have all kinds of vegan stuff that you can use and then they have the best bread right here is sombrero viejo but they're open on thursdays from 3 to 4 30. so i find that a lot of places in the island all the restaurants are very limited uh, on the hours that they they're open so they may so just make sure you watch for that uh tomorrow on friday the farmer's market comes with all the fresh veggies so we're gonna wake up at five o'clock in the morning when they arrive I'm not a morning person so that might not happen but I'm gonna try and get here as early as I can so I can go and get some fresh veggies so we'll see so here we are visiting the first beach of the day I'm gonna go and try and do four probably two um, this one is called Playa Negra because it's black sand beach uh, so let's go see if the sand is actually black apparently we have to go on a hike trail to get to it so let's go So here we are on beach number two. It is La Chiva, and apparently it's a breathtaking one. So let's look. Wow.
so I walked all the way over there and the water barely got to my waist. It was awesome. Here we are on beach number three, Caracas Beach or Red Beach. Another one beautiful, look at that. All right, so um, my surprise for Madeline is I'm getting her new LED lights. So these lights that are kind of old and they only half work, not very bright at all. They're really, they don't really give a lot of light past, unless you're sitting directly under the light, you really can't see because it's still kind of dark. So what I'm going to replace it with, some nice, and get Madeline some color LEDs. This is something she's been wanting for a while but hasn't gotten. But I'm glad I'm replacing them because the one that I have here that I just took off, yeah, about that. So I don't know how long that's been burnout, but that's not only really bad, that's just really unsafe. So I'm glad I'm replacing these lights now because that's kind of horrifying. So I probably should have been filming this, but um, I wasn't thinking about it. Um, this is what happens when Maddie's not around. I can't remember to even think properly. So, all right, so what I'm doing is the surprise I had for her was the uh, LED lights. So I'm going to um, show you what I've done so far. I've already done the other side. It's turned out rather nice. Excuse the mess. Like I said, we're st I'm still cleaning up. So I'm going to go ahead and um, show you what I got here so you can see what I'm doing. Here's the uh, switch with the color control because, you know, it's Matty. So it's got to have every color. Here's the connectors for the strips. Which connect to the LED strips here. So, yep. I'll be setting those in here in just a minute. Now, as you can see here, what I've done is splice it into the existing wire for the light, and then just um, use some shrink tubing, heat it up, and we're good to go. So now I'm going to go ahead and be just because I'm paranoid. I'm gonna go ahead and tape around it. As always, always put a little bit of this on stuff so that it um, won't corrode, cause guess what, we're on a boat. Cause it does like all the Matty stuff. It like, um, it'll sit there and go through and do the bleaking lights and different colors and pink and green and what are the other ones? Light blue and pastel, yeah, it does, it does everything. So she ought to be pretty happy. And she actually has no idea that I'm doing this. She thinks that I'm just cleaning up, making the bed, and like hanging out on the boat. But I'm actually doing stuff. So, yeah. Nothing makes Madeline feel happier than color. So Madeline can now have mood lighting. I honestly cannot wait for her to come and see how awesome this looks. Well, the boat's clean. And you know, so I had to go pick up Madeline, but I don't have to pick her up for like another like six hours from the airport. So I'm just gonna try to kind of find something to do in my time. I mean, it, it looks like it's gonna kind of rain, so finishing up the teak probably not gonna happen today. And um, I was thinking about giving her a bath, but I don't wanna get all sweaty and smelly right before I go pick her up from the airport. So, yeah. 
find something to do in my time. I mean, what do you do on a boat when you're not going sailing and your poor your your best friend's not here to talk <laughs> and make fun of things with and share things or go out and go for a walk through the park or whatever, go adventuring. So yeah, I guess I'm just gonna do what I can here. Can't pass the time. So that about wraps it up. We're um, officially back in our slip. Everything's pretty much put away. Did pretty much all of my cleaning. Installed the LED lights. Sorted out a whole bunch of crap so that we can take advantage of all that storage we gained up in the V-Birth from taking out that old AC unit and the, um, the sewage tank. Thank God. The boat does not smell. It's such a wonderful thing to not have your boat smell. Because it didn't, as you saw in the other clip, it was just slowly leaking. It didn't matter how many times we flushed it out. Those lines were old and dirty and nasty. And like, so I slept really good last night. Luckily, it's just windy enough to rock the boat, so I went right to sleep. Of course, after I talked to Madeline. And um, yeah, so I can't wait till she gets back and she gets to see everything and we can go out sailing. As always, if you guys like these videos, hey, you know the drill. Smash that like button, then hit that subscribe button. Or you could hit the subscribe and then like, you know what? I don't judge. So either way, our videos, we're so motivated to bring them to you guys. And the more likes and the more views, our subscribers are, are actually starting to grow now. We're actually really having a good time doing this. And we're liking sharing all this with you. So, too bad Madeline is not here on this episode. But, don't worry. I'll, I'm sure I added in some clips earlier of what she was going and doing over there. Having fun and hanging out and being where I want to take this baby. <laughs> All right. Again, thanks to all you guys. Wouldn't be possible without you. Let's do this.